welcome back um, to part 2 of this honeycomb review um, there's a b-roll of this stunning joke and in this video we're gonna take a look at the mounting solution and the accuracy compared to the Cytec yoke as well as some flying using the 737 and some GA aircraft so stay tuned So let's take a look at the mounting solution and here is the base plate, looks to be 3D printed, uh, has some rubber and sticky sticky and here we have the metal clamp, there is two of them. The fixation is pretty straightforward, slide them in and clamp them down to the table. So let's take a look at the yoke itself, it's got a hole with a small notch, so line them up and give it a push. On the back side of the yoke you got two screws, simply screw them out and the yoke will be fixed in place. It's a great mounting solution to be honest. The yoke it doesn't move at all. Last thing to do is to plug in the USB type C cable. And on the back side you also get a small button for the red LEDs on the front. You can adjust them in five steps. Let's have a look at the accuracy and compare it with the Cytec yoke. The Honeycomb uh, uses really high def uh, trim parts for both the pitch and roll axes. Uh, as you can see, even the slightest input gives a data reading, so I'm impressed. The pitch and roll uh, movement is perfectly smooth due to its solid steel shaft and uh, dual linear ball bearings. As you can see the Cytex only got roughly 40 degree roll and the Honeycomb's got 90 degree roll so pretty realistic. Not quite yet. Let's take a look at the settings. It's just like any yoke or joystick, so pretty easy to set up. Two thousand years later. So here we are, pushing back from gate 15 at my home base Echo Sierra Golf Golf, Gothenburg Lambeter Airport. So let's finish the pushback and we're gonna take a look at the flight controls. Hard to show, but the, the controls is really accurate. 
and I love that it's no dead zones whatsoever the input is instant Let's take off and see how the yoke feels and uh, make some manual flying around the airport and uh, eventually land this puppy again. V1. V1. And let's rotate. First thing I notice is you need quite some force to pull back on the oak. Um, I have no idea how that compares to the real aircraft, but so landing gear down and let's try out some turns. The responsiveness is instant. Um, the yoke really is smooth, uh, both in the roll and pitch. And well, I'm amazed. So let's land this puppy. As you see, there's. Uh, some wind uh, and I have to give a shout out to Realturb I really love that add-on it adds uh, quite a lot of realism Okay, that was a long landing, but it was smooth. So, next up is the Cessna 182. So, stay tuned. We're back at runway 21 uh, at Echo Sierra Golf Golf in the Cessna 182. We are gathering some speed and gonna take off pretty soon. And we're gonna do some, well, stunt flying pretty much. Uh, gonna put this yoke to a ultimate test. Let's talk about the pros and cons. Um, the first thing is the build quality. It's great and I love the rubberized uh, finish. And the next is the ergonomics. 
the joke feels really good in the hands and the 90 degree turn or roll axis is realistic I love it the great advantage is the zero dead zone mostly due to the high def trim parts I also got the smoothness it's way way better than the Cytec great job the yoke has all buttons and switches you'll ever need also includes a push to talk button the USB type C well good job so what about the cons well you can feel the ball bearing on the pitch axis uh, when making small precise movements but it doesn't affect performance nor accuracy pitch axis might have a bit too much resistance and uh, roll a bit too little I guess it's a personal reference um, I get the feeling that the USB type C connector on the yoke can worn out over time especially if you're disconnecting and connecting the yoke a lot it's tricky to set up the buttons that's on the yoke uh, in P3D at least, on X-Plane it's much easier. Other than that, well, nothing. It's an amazing yoke. And the final verdict, should you or should you not buy this yoke? Well, I think you should buy it um, for 220 bucks. It's simply the best yoke in this price range. The Cytec one is not even close to this one. Um, the Cytec feels like a toy compared to this. That was it, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this review useful.